thing that I've always found most exciting about the hologram effect and hologram illusion industry uh, is the ability to beam anybody from anywhere to anywhere uh, in real time. So what we've decided to do was we shrunk these giant hologram stage apparatus from big arena stage pieces into what you see right here. This is Portal. It's the size of a vending machine. Uh, it fits in the corner of a room and it beams in a 4K resolution image in real time. You can wow. create, you could beam anybody from anywhere to anywhere in real time. And when you're looking into the camera, you're looking into your audience's eyes. So if you're an educator, or if you're a uh, politician, or if you're an inspirational speaker or a religious leader, you could beam from the safety and security of your own campaign headquarters or from your own uh, judges chambers or whatever you, wherever you are into anywhere that you need to be in real time. So I can distribute portal hologram machines to any country in the world and in real time you could beam from wherever you are into as many places uh, at the exact same time. Uh, each portal has an audience facing camera so that when you beam in front of audiences around the world, the camera uh, sees the audiences. So I'm here with you right now. However, if I wasn't, I would still be able to see you because I've got an eye on you. Uh, it's got speakers on both sides, so I can, um, so you can hear me when I'm not here, and it's all completely self-contained. Uh, uh, my friends and I, we beamed Jimmy Kimmel to the Country Music Awards from Los Angeles while he was doing his opening monologue, standing on a similar screen, we used green screen at the time, but we beamed him to Nashville, thousands of miles away, time zones away, and in real time he was interviewing uh, uh, artists who had literally just won country music awards, and then we were beaming them back using the same kind of reverse transmission, and they were performing live or doing an interview, and there was no, there was no latency. Um, when you use satellite, which could be funny uh, if you're not planning for it properly, uh, Here's a polarizing story, but uh, one of the first things that we did was we beamed Julian Assange out of the Ecuadorian embassy, where he when he was living in the Ecuadorian embassy, and uh, he couldn't uh, he couldn't leave for obvious reasons. Uh, so what we did was uh, we got a call. Julian Assange was promoting a book, and he wanted to promote it in the United States at a place called the Nantucket Project, uh, which is like a TED Talks but on a small island. Uh, off the, uh, you know, on Nantucket Island. And so what we did was we beamed, we went up to the third, st third story conference room inside the Ecuadorian embassy, had a satellite truck outside, and then we beamed his image as he was sitting on a, uh, on a white stool. Uh, we beamed him to Nantucket, and then we had this guy named Eugene Jarecki, great documentary filmmaker and an interviewer. He was sitting opposite uh, Assange's hologram on the same white so we bought two white stools we sent one to Nantucket we sent white one to London and they were and you could google it it's amazing they look like they're there at the exact same time facing each other but there was about a half a second delay because it's a quarter of a second up and a quarter of a second down so it's um when they were it was it, there really wasn't much of an issue until they tried high-fiving each other at the end <laughs> <laughs> they, they were having a little bit of trouble with that but the late night talk show host had a great time with that I, I won't even repeat the joke because I won't do it justice, but it, I'll, okay, so they, they couldn't really get the high five going, and then um, I believe it was Jimmy Fallon that said, um, that's how all white people high five. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, there's, so there's late.